Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello, my name is Shane Pratt and I'm an applications engineer at Unitronics. This tutorial is about how to connect to a GPRS network with a serial modem. GPRS is a wireless data transmission service offered by GSM cellular providers which transmits IP packets of data over the GPRS network. It offers Unitronics controllers an option for internet connection where a LAN connection is not available. This internet connection offers features such as emailing, web server capability, VPN connections, FTP capability, communications to third party devices, and more. This tutorial will cover how to access the GPRS network and connect the serial modem to a port configured for modem communication. First, configure a serial port to attach the modem. Add the modem to the Unilogic project and set the GPRS parameters for the SIM card. In the latter, set up the according initialization blocks to initialize the modem for the GPRS network. We will finish this tutorial by sending an email to verify the connection. Now let's begin to create the project. First, set up a connection point for the modem. This can be done two different ways. The first option is to set up a USB port. In the Solution Explorer, navigate to the PLC Communications tab. Set up the USB port for modem communication by navigating to the Physical tab and selecting the Panel USB Port option. Set the USB for a serial device in the Properties window on the right side of the screen. We must then initialize the port for modem communications. Alternatively, instead of using a USB port, we can add a serial communication module for RS-232 connection in the hardware configuration under Local I.O. and COM modules. Here, add an RS-232 module from the toolbox on the right hand side of the screen. Below the toolbox in the Properties window, we must initialize the COM port for modem communications. Now that there is a connection point for the modem, add a modem to use with the Unistream. In the Solution Explorer, navigate to the PLC Communications drop down menu, then select the Modems option. Here, add a new modem to the project. First, we'll choose the modem type. For this project, the Infora modem is being used. Also, the baud rate to the modem. 115200 is the baud rate for the Infora. The refresh rate of the signal quality for the modem. For this project, we'll set to 1 minute. And the comm channel that will connect to the modem. For this project, the modem is connected to the USB port. Once the modem is added, notice in the global tag list a modem struct is automatically created. In this struct, some parameters are needed to connect to the GPRS network. A pin cone is assigned to the SIM card for access to the network by a cellular provider. We'll need to fill in the GPRS APN, which for our SIM card is WAP.singular. The GPRS username is WAP at singular GPRS.com. And the GPRS password is singular1. All of these parameters will be assigned to us by our cellular provider. The GPRS IP is a dynamically addressed IP address that will be assigned to us when we register to the network. To test this connection, we will be sending an email at the end of this tutorial over the GPRS network. I have already gone ahead and taken the liberty to set up the email beforehand, which is covered in a previous tutorial. The HMI section was also set up beforehand. On screen, there is a button to initialize the modem a button to initialize the GPRS network, 
and a button to send the email verifying the connection. Below the buttons are some status text. Binary text for an alert that the modem is initialized, and a list of text variable for the status of which the modem is. These parameters were linked through the modem struct that was created upon adding a new modem. Also, there is a binary text to alert us when the email has successfully been sent. Next, create the ladder to initialize the modem to the GPS network. According to the button pushed on the HMI, first initialize the modem. Add a direct contact for this button and link the bit init modem. Please note these bits were created in advance with the HMI screen. In series with the contact, add an init modem function block from under the COM, SMS, and email drop down menu in the latter toolbox. Hover over the A parameter for this function block. See the input is looking for a modem with which we would like to initialize. For this project, we'll choose modem 1, which we created earlier. The B parameter is looking for any additional tasks to perform upon initialization, such as clearing the SMS messages. We'll leave this as none for this example. Next, finish the rung by resetting the initialized modem bit. Now that the modem has been initialized, initialize the modem for GPRS network. Similar to the latter above, add a direct contact link to the init GPRS bit that is set upon pushing the button on the HMI screen. Put the init GPRS function block, which is also found under the COM, SMS, and email drop down menu, in series with this direct contact. Hover over the A parameter and see that this parameter requires the modem we wish to initialize. Choose the Infora modem we created earlier, which is modem 1. We'll finish this rung by resetting the init GPRS bit. With the application now complete, download the application to the Unistream. I've connected to the PLC using my VNC viewer to show how the screen and system is reacting according to the functions created in the ladder. Notice the initialized GPRS button is not activated. This is because the modem has not been initialized yet and therefore should not have the option to initialize to the GPRS network. When the modem initializes, the initialization success bit goes high and the option to initialize to the GPRS network is granted. Upon pressing this, the modem status changes to a function in progress until successfully initializing to the network. To verify the modem is on the GPRS network, I'll send an email over the network. We are alerted the email has been sent, and thus successfully connected to the GPRS network. Finally, I would like to go online with the unit to analyze the modem struct that was created upon adding the modem to the application. Within this struct, we can see the dynamically addressed IP address. If the SIM card has a static IP address, you will also be able to see it here. Finally, I will check my inbox to ensure the email came through. And as you can see, here is the email. This concludes our tutorial on connecting to a GPRS network via serial modem. You can find more information and example applications on our website. Thank you.